Today I went outside and on my front porch there was a good guy's doll. I have no clue who gave him to me but he looks pretty cool so I decided I'm going to bring him in. It says his name is Chucky and he wants to play with you and be your best friend. So, me needing a best friend, I decided I'm going to take him out of the box and keep him. When I took him out, I got this really strange feeling, but I was excited to have a best friend. I was getting ready to play with him, but I got hungry, so I decided I'm going to go make lunch. I set him down on the rocking chair so I could go make my food and eat my lunch. And when I got done eating, that's when things got really weird. My Chucky doll wasn't in the rocking chair, and it was moving. I got really scared, so I decided to go look for him. I looked all over my house and finally I found him in the corner of my family room. It looks like he's counting for a game of hide and seek. I got scared so I ran to see if anybody else was home, but I was home alone. And when I turned around, Chucky was standing there waiting for me. Last night before bed, I put Chucky back in his box because he was giving me bad vibes. But when I woke up this morning, you won't believe what I saw. Chucky was at the edge of my bed staring at me. I flipped on the light and I started to poke him to see if anything happened. I was freaked out trying to figure out how he got here. I figured my mind was playing tricks on me because I was hungry, so I went downstairs to make some food. I set Chucky down by the fireplace so I can go to the kitchen and make a bowl of cereal. I was finally starting not to worry so much until I came back into the room and I saw that Chucky was gone. When I saw Chucky wasn't there, I got really scared and that's when I started to realize he might not be a normal doll. I went looking all over the house for Chucky and when I finally found him, you won't believe where he was. He was standing over top of my dad who was sleeping. I grabbed Chucky and put him back in his box and I'm starting to think I should have never let him in. Warning, this could be scary to some viewers. People were saying that Chucky's eyes were moving in the video I posted yesterday. So I rewatched it and they really did move. But that's not even the half of it. I was live last night and people kept telling me Chucky was moving. I thought they were playing a prank on me until I saw this screen recording from my live. In this clip, I left the room and keep a close eye on Chucky. He went from resting on my dresser to standing up. Then when he heard me coming in the room, he went back to normal. After I saw that, I knew I had to get rid of him. So I threw him in my car and I drove to the woods. I went as deep into the woods as you could go to find a good spot for him. And I put him down and I said my goodbyes to him. When I got home, I was so relieved to have him out of my house and all of a sudden, the doorbell rang. I opened the door and you won't believe who it was. It was Chucky. How did he get back here? And is he waving at me? What do I do? When Chucky showed back up to my house, I didn't let him in. I was freaking out, so I tried to convince myself it was all in my head. But you won't believe what happened next. This was all one steady clip with no edits in it. I was heading back to watch TV to get my mind off of things, and somehow Chucky was at my back door waiting for me. How is this even possible? Once I calmed down, I realized he was never going to give up, so I brought him back in my house. I went in the other room to relax and try to think of a way to get him to leave me alone, but when I looked up, there he was again, and this time he was holding a ball. I think he's trying to tell me he wants to play. I couldn't believe what I just saw, and that's when I think Chucky threw the ball at me. After that, I got in the shower, hoping it would wake me up from this nightmare, but it didn't. Chucky was downstairs waiting for me with a Jason mask on. How do I get rid of him? Today, I was going to make sure Chucky was still in his box, and that's when I saw Chucky drawing something on the ground. I have no clue what he was making, but he was looking at me really weird. So, I backed out of the house and started running to my car. I knew what I had to go get to try to get rid of Chucky. When I got home, I didn't want to go inside, but I went to the church to get holy water, so I knew I had to give it a try. As soon as I got into my house, I started looking for Chucky, but he was nowhere to be found. Then I finally saw him, and he was watching Paw Patrol. I think he's trying to make me think he's a good guy. I snuck up and poured the holy water on him, and that's when he freaked out. Thankfully, I was able to push him off of me, and I ran as fast as I could to a hiding spot. I heard footsteps coming, so I peeked out, and I can't believe what I saw. It was Chucky, and he was looking for me. I hope he doesn't find me. How am I ever going to get rid of him? This morning, I was eating my favorite cereal, Good Guys, when I heard a knock at the door. I didn't think much of it, so I went to check it out, but when I opened the door, I was shocked. Someone left another Chucky doll on my porch. I was really excited because now this means I have two friends, so I took him out of the box and I introduced him to the other Chucky. 
After I got done introducing them, I went back to eat my bowl with cereal so they could get to know each other better. Once I was all done eating, I put my bowl in the sink and I went back to check on the Chuckies. But when I got back, both of the Chuckies were gone. I was really freaked out because this is double the trouble. I went looking for both of the Chuckies, but they're really good at hiding. But when I was checking my dining room, I got this really uneasy feeling. And when I peeked around one of the corners, there was one of the Chuckies. I hurried up and I grabbed him, but now I still have to find the other Chucky. Where could he be? This morning when I woke up, something really weird happened. Both of the Chuckies were downstairs and there was a unicorn that I've never seen before. I was really freaked out because that was the first time they ever brought someone over to my house. I asked him who it was but he didn't answer me and he just gave me a Spongebob Gogurt. It was really good and I forgot about the unicorn so I went to watch TV and all of a sudden the TV turned off and when I looked over it was the two Chuckies. They asked me if I wanted to go play Fortnite and of course I wanted to go play. As soon as I started it up the Chuckies started to get weird. The one put the headphones on me and the other one started to rub my shoulders. And that's when he asked me to go into the item shop. I was scrolling through when I heard a noise and when I looked up, it was the unicorn standing at my door. He told me to get off right now and to hand over my V-Bucks. I wasn't going to until I saw the other Chucky. He's got some medieval weapon. I tried to make a deal with him, but it was too late. Chucky hit me like David hit Goliath. And that's when the unicorn came after me and threw me off the chair. And then Chucky spent all my V-Bucks. Today I was downstairs and my ring light kept going on and off, even my dog was getting freaked out. So I got up to check it out, but when I got up I heard something in the other room. So I went to see what it was, and it was Chucky. What is he doing here? It's never good news when Chucky shows up. So I tried to get out of there, but when I turned around, the other Chucky was waiting for me. There was nowhere to go. Wait a minute, what is he eating? No way, is he eating the illegal potato chips from Mischief? How did he even get these? And what flavors does he have? Oh, no way! Believe it or not, these are real edible potato chips. Then he asked me if I wanted some, and I said no, and that's when I noticed my daughter's elf on the shelf, Boo. I can't believe she teamed up with the Chuckies. And I couldn't believe what I saw next. It was my Ox Soundbar S3 Bluetooth Surround Sound. This thing is awesome. I was supposed to be watching a movie. I asked him how he got it open and that's when I saw the worst thing. My cousin Billy came walking in with a box and before I could even ask him what he's doing here and how he became friends with the Chuckies, he threw it at my head. Finally, he told me he wanted to play a game and that's when he hooked his Bluetooth up to my Ox soundbar. I asked him what kind of game he wanted to play and he said musical chairs. I haven't played musical chairs since like 5th grade. I wanted to know who I was going to play against and that's when Chucky came up to me and Chucky said he was playing and the loser has to eat an illegal potato chip. I wasn't going to back down so I told Billy I was going to play and that's when he turned on the music to my Ox soundbar. I can't believe he opened this but once the music started playing it sounded really good. Things got serious quick. I told Chucky he was going down and he just laughed in my face. As soon as the music started we were off. We were running as fast as we could, and then a few hours went by and Billy didn't turn off the music. I tried to tell him to stop, but he said nobody stops the party, and he threw a ball at my face. I was distracted for a second, and that's when Billy decided to turn off the music. I told Billy I was going to get him back, and that's when I noticed the music stopped. And then I saw Chucky staring at me. And then all of a sudden, he hopped up in the air, and he kicked me right in the head. I fell over, and when I looked up, Chucky was in the chair. I can't believe it, he won, and now I have to go eat a chip. I couldn't believe I lost, I wonder how this chip is gonna taste. But once I ate it, it was pretty good. Chucky was actually pretty cool. This morning when I woke up, the weirdest thing happened. I thought I was still dreaming. I heard noise coming over from my computer, and that's when I saw Chucky playing Fortnite. I was so freaked out, I can't believe Chucky's playing Fortnite. I hope he didn't hear me wake up. I decided to hide under the covers, but I wanted to see if Chucky was cracked at Fortnite. So I started watching him, and that's when I saw him exchange a perp for a flare gun. Who does that? Once I saw that, I knew he had to be dog water at this game, so I wasn't scared anymore. I grabbed my ukulele to take him out. He was about to get pwned in real life and in the game. He was swinging around when a truck appeared, and I knew this was my moment, but he kept swinging around the tree. What is he doing? I was waiting for my moment to take him out, but that's when I got dizzy from watching him swing around. Finally, he started going after the truck, and he wasn't doing too bad. He should easily have this in the bag. But I forgot he was dog water at the game. The guy in the truck jumped out and Chucky gave chase. 
but Chucky didn't reload, and I bet he wishes he saved that purple AR now. Oh no, someone's coming from across the river to third party him. Is he really about to fumble this? That should have been the easiest win ever. All of a sudden, Chucky started to run, and that's when something crazy happened. He swung by the third party like the Terminator. He said, all will be back. And that's when the other two started to fight. Chucky baited the first guy into the second guy. No way, what's he about to do? He's pulling out the flare? Can he really pull this off? Oh my goodness, he got one. Maybe it was a good idea to keep the flare. I couldn't believe it. Is he really about to finish both of them? The other guy tried running away, but Chucky is actually cracked at the game. That's when I knew I couldn't take him and got scared and hit back under the covers, but I wanted to see if he could finish. There was only one person left and Chucky got the victory royale. I was so hyped I forgot and started cheering for him. And that's when Chucky noticed me. Today I was sitting on my couch when all of a sudden I heard someone knock on the door. I went to see who it was and when I opened the door I was shocked. It was Chucky. What is he doing outside and why is he playing with my daughter's chalk? I looked to see what he was drawing and he drew some really weird star. And then he wrote play with us. I told him no I don't want to play and I shut the door. Nothing good ever comes from playing with Chucky. I was hoping that he would go away, but that's when I heard a noise outside, so I went to check it out, and you won't believe what I saw. Chucky was outside rollerblading. How did he get my daughter's skates? I ran outside to confront him, and I told him he can't use my daughter's skates and he has to give them back. That got him really mad at me, and he just stared at me for a couple seconds. I told him to put them back, and for the last time, I don't want to play. As soon as I got in, I sat back on the couch, and that's when I heard another noise. When I saw what he was doing, I ran outside right away. He was riding my daughter's old bike. I asked him why he was riding the bike, and he said it was a beautiful day, and he just wants to go for a bike ride with me. I'm not falling for his tricks again, but when I looked up, Chucky was riding away with my daughter's bike. As soon as I noticed, I tried to chase him down, but he was riding way too fast, and I couldn't catch him. Should I just play with Chucky? 